But one of the guy I was at the house started going off about a new drug, LSD, and for my birthday, he planned a trip for us. I stuck out my tongue like an obedient child, and he placed a tiny piece of paper on the end of it. And now we wait. We had no idea how much was on the paper, as they had been pre-soaked, so we had no idea what was going to happen, or if anything would happen. I complained that this was a fucking boring drug, and I reached for my kit to fix, to help the acid. But Jack said, No! You're going to sit there and wait for this trip. Just for once, do what you're fucking told. That shut me up. I waited, stopped complaining, and then it started. M my knees started twitching. And then I felt so cold. He wrapped us up in a comforter, giggling and shivering. And then I was boiling hot, stripping off my clothes. But he stopped me. Something was changing. I was looking at my body without my shirt, my perfectly bound chest, and I started seeing things. Jack, sensing my fear, pulled me closer. He said, Shh, Erica, it's okay. I'm right here, and you are safe. And then I looked around me, and I lost my fucking mind. Holy shit. My three trolls suddenly appeared to me at the foot of the bed, and we were on, but one of them looks like my mom. She grabbed at me, trying to force a really ugly dress over my head. Another one was in handcuffs, on its knees, begging me for something. I closed my eyes, and I could feel myself falling down on a hole. I opened my eyes, and I could see the dirt walls. surrounding me as I fell. Faces screaming at me, faces motionless and white. Dead, foam oozing from their open mouths, dead and lifeless. And then I stopped falling and was suspended there. And then I started floating up and up and up. And then I like separated myself. I mean, I was the one floating, but I was also the one observing myself floating. And the compassion I felt for this little being under my gaze was incredible. My eyes filled with tears. I could see her getting skinnier and skinnier, and her little bones were poking through her skin. The pain was so evident on her face, and I wanted to comfort her, but all I could do was watch. And then I saw them. And then I was her, and not watching. I was feeling them falling on me like rain. Maggots. Millions of them. They fell on my body and they were devouring my body. Huge chunks of me were being eaten away and I was terrified. 
struggling against my death, but a calmness, a calmness that I have never felt before washed through my whole body. And I felt lighter, lighter, and lighter, like a feather floating in the breeze being carried by the wind. I was weightless and free. Pieces of me were gone, but I was whole. I was complete and completely free. I felt the tears on my cheeks, and I felt a gentle finger brush them away. I looked at Jack, and he held me in close. I cried into his arms for what seemed like hours, and when we woke later, he still had his arms powerfully protectively around me. I got up and gathered the family. I was changed. I had a new focus, and to make any of it happen, I had to leave. I packed my things and hugged them goodbye, and I moved back home.